everyone, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to another episode of Tuesday Tidbits. So in today's Tuesday Tidbits, I'm going to uh, share with you some uh, birthday cards that I received uh, and some happy mail that I received for my birthday. And then also, um, uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm working on one of the Weeby dolls, which is a mystery advent thing that's going to be happening starting December the 1st that I... Um, uh, bought and then you'll get p patterns each every five days through December and so uh now her this is a uh, uh this is a designer that's on Ravelry her name is Laura Tegg I believe and she has this little doll series called Weeby Dolls and uh this doll's been on my uh my Ravelry library for quite a while, but I've never made one. Her standard doll size is a free pattern. And then she has outfits that you can, uh, you know, change your clothes and have different outfits that fit that one standard size doll. Plus she has some other smaller, different size dolls also with clothes for those also. Okay. So some of the outfits you can get for free, um, on her, her rivalry store and then some of them are paid for patterns so anyway this is the doll that these outfits for this mystery uh advent because you you don't know what the outfits are yet that's it'll fit the standard doll so i wanted to go ahead and make the doll ahead of time so then it would be ready so i want to show you what i did with her hair okay and this is kind of a tutorial it's a tutorial from somebody else that i followed for the hair and i thought i would tell you about it because i thought it turned out really cute and if you need a good wig cap hair pattern uh, tutorial, then uh, maybe you you will like the, to use this one that I'm going to tell you about, and then you can just, you know, file it away or bookmark it or whatever, so that way if you ever need it, you'll have it, <laughs> okay? Okay, <laughs> let's get started with the birthday uh, happy mail and cards and things that I receive. I'll show you that, and and then I will show you the doll. So I went to the post office and I had a couple of packages to pick up and then also so there was quite a few cards in my uh, post office box. And so let's get started with those, okay? So the first one I got was from Marianne and the, she is the crotchety clogger here on uh, YouTube. And she happens to have the same birthday as, as myself. And so I always tease her and t tell her that we're birthday twinsies uh and i think she calls me her birthday mate so she sent me a card and a little gift so let me show you that okay so here is the birthday card isn't that pretty i love the the sailboat on there and she had a nice little note on here and she was telling me about how she just loves it when our the her birthday falls on thanksgiving day which it did this year and and so i said i i agree <laughs> so here is the birthday card she also sent me something that she herself makes she has an etsy shop and it's called marianne the crotchy clogger let's see the crotchy clogger at gmail.com um and I will link uh, the link to her channel below and in her info box on her channel. You can find the link to her Etsy shop. But anyway, there is the little logo that she has. So cute. <laughs> okay. And so she makes um, custom... Uh, I guess you call them coast, custom uh, row counters. They're so cool and they're made out of beads. This one she made me is a Christmas themed one. Isn't that cute? And it has a clip on there so that way you can clip it to your project bag. I think it's so cute. And then there's right here, this is detachable. This is like a little progress keeper. Okay. And so the way the row counter works, this one is got one, two, three, four, five, five beads on it. And so for each row in sets of five, you could slide the bead down. Like I said, she makes these herself. I love the way she does that. And so uh, that way you can keep track of your rows. You can keep track of your repeats. If you have like five repeats or whatever. Um, anyway, I think they're really neat i like the way they all they work and pretty easy to even you know move it yourself i mean with like one hand see that so that way if you've got hold of your project you don't want to let go <laughs> you can um move those beads with one hand anyway so there is my little uh birthday gift from 
Marianne, the crotchy clogger. So thank you, my birthday mate or twinsy, <laughs> uh, for the sweet uh, card and one of your row counters. Okay, so I received that. I also received, uh, I picked, oh, and as far as my packages I received, I received one package, but it was, it is the uh, Vlogmas swap box that Ella and I are going to do for no catchy, from Ella from no catchy name. We're going to do a uh, abbreviated Vlogmas swap where it's just going to be a challenge kit that we made for each other. And we're going to open open one each Friday during Vlogmas. And so we'll have that Friday to the next Friday to make something with that kit and whatever's in the kit. And so there's four Fridays and then the last Friday will be a reveal Friday uh, for the last um, challenge kit. <laughs> so that's gonna be really fun. So I got that box, okay? But I also got this box. Now I, I admit that this one I picked up last week and I've been real good and I haven't opened it because she said don't open it until December the 1st. <laughs> so let me show you how big the box is though. But I can't open it yet. <laughs> okay, here it is. Here's the box. Look. Oh, and it's kind of heavy. <laughs> so this is from Tara Lynn. She has a YouTube channel called All Yarned Up. And she sent me this box. She said it was a combination birthday gift and Christmas gift. But she has things wrapped in there that I could use to open for Vlogmas. And so that's why she said not to open it until December the 1st. So I haven't. I've been really good. Been a good girl. <laughs> and I haven't opened it. But I really want to. Because she has sent me wonderful packages before. She sent me a package when I retired from homeschooling and it was so cool. She get, It was a card that said happy retirement and a bo big box full of all kinds of craft items. So I, I appreciate you so much, Terilyn. And she has sent me birthday packages and different things and just because package she sent me not too long ago so she is so sweet so please go and check out her channel she has a a few videos not not many she's kind of getting started with her youtube channel but please go show her some support and subscribe to her channel okay so i've got that box okay <laughs> and now i also received these cards so let me show you those it's so cool that I had so many cards in my in my mailbox. I was like, aw, <laughs> made my day. Okay, so I received this pack, this birthday card here. Happy birthday. And it is says, This day belongs to you. May your day be fully full of joy. Yours truly, your subscriber, E E. So, I mean, just E-N, but I don't know who that is. So, thank you, E-N, whoever that may be. <laughs> I really appreciate you sending me a um, birthday card and thinking of me. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So, the next one is this one right here, and this is a beautiful card. Look at that. So pretty. Uh, wishing you a beautiful day filled with all the things that bring you joy. May your celebration bring wonderful memories and lasting happiness. Happy birthday. And this is from Shirley. And she wrote a sweet little uh, note in here to me. So thank you so much, Shirley. I love this card. I love birds and flowers and butterflies. I just love it. So thank you so much. Look, even the back has a little bit on it. Such a pretty card. And the envelope matches. Um, see? <laughs> so that is awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see. So the next one is this one right here. It says, it's your birthday. <laughs> and this one is, says, wishing you all the things that make you happy. Have a great birthday. And it's from Judy. So thank you so much, Judy. Okay. And the next one, let's see. I have a couple of Christmas cards, so I'll group those together. So let me see. Let's find that. Here, here's a birthday card. Wishing you every good thing that life can bring on your birthday and always. Another pretty one with flowers and butterflies. Have a wonderful day. Happy birthday from Paula. So thank you so much, Paula. And she also wrote me a sweet note. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Okay, uh, let's see. That one is a Christmas card. That one is a Christmas card. <laughs> 
and this okay so the rest are christmas cards so let's show you those and then i'll show you what else i got okay so this one is a beautiful card it says from our home from our home to yours at christmas time and it's got this beautiful snowy scene and i don't maybe you can see there's sparkles like the snow is sparkling that's so pretty uh Christmas is for saying out loud what we think in our hearts all year long. You've got a special place in our lives, and we thank God for you. I love that. Thank you so much. And that is from Betsy. So thank you so much, Betsy. Okay, this one says Merry Christmas. Isn't that pretty? And it says, May you have an absolutely wonderful Christmas filled with love from God. And this is from Teresa. It says, Teresa, Gabby, and Tyru. And it says, P.S. Gabby and Ty are fur babies. <laughs> That's so cool. So, is that, are the, so comment down below, um, Teresa, is that Gabby and Tyru, are those cats or dogs or one of each? <laughs> I would love to know. <laughs> okay, so that is the Christmas card from Teresa. And I have one last Christmas card, like Christmas postcard. This one is so cool. It's a picture card. And it says, Merry Grinchmas from Matt Lauren Oswald. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And that cat right there, that's Oswald. <laughs> and she said that she crocheted that little dress that Oswald's got on in the hat. <laughs> you did such a great job. <laughs> it says, wishing you the beauty, blessings, and joy this season brings. I love watching your YouTube videos. Your work always inspires me. And then she said that she crocheted the outfit that the cat is wearing. <laughs> so cool. Your yarny friend, Lauren. So thank you, Lauren. I love that card. Isn't that, isn't that so cute? <laughs> okay. So that is all the cards that I got in my post office box. Uh, my my son and daughter in law, they brought me a gift, and so they may, and my son who is an artist. In fact, well, he's an artist and he's also an art teacher at one of the local high schools here, and he made me my card, <laughs> and he just sketched out a fall leaf there because it's fall. It says to mom, and so he embellished the card different places, <laughs> and um, on the inside also. And then this right here, see the little turkey handprint? That is from my grandbaby. <laughs> That's his little handprint. So cute. And they made a turkey out of it. <laughs> so it says, uh, of all the many things to be thankful for on this day, because it was Thanksgiving Day that day, besides my birthday, we are thankful for you most of all. Aww. It's so sweet. Happy birthday, Mama. <laughs> okay, so there is my card from them. And they got me the Frosty the Snowman kit. I don't have this one. <laughs> um, I have the uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer kit. And now I have the Frosty the Snowman kit. And of course, when I was growing up, that was my two fa most favorite Christmas cartoons. So, um I think this is so cute. And the kit has the yarn and everything to make Frosty and Karen. And so uh, I've showed you these type kits before. I, I did the nativity set kit that I had that was this on this this type of kit. Uh, the Ru Ru Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Uh, Tara Lynn, the one that sent me this big box. She sent me the Peanuts kit. I haven't started that yet. Uh, and she sent me a Nutcracker kit. I haven't done that one yet either. And Valerie, and Valerie's Cuddly Cat Creations, I think that's what, she's going to change her channel. But her channel name, I think. But anyway, she got me, and I need to make them. Uh, she got me the Beatles, like Lonely Hearts Club outfits, you know, the, the Beatles. And, and I haven't made those either. But anyway, this set has 12 patterns in here. See, it's got the pattern book. It's got the yarn and the stuffing and the hook. For like I said, snowman and frosty the snowman and Karen, and usually that's how the kits are. They'll have enough yarn to make two of the items that's in the kit. Like the Rudolph one had Rudolph and had um, the yarn to make Rudolph and Santa, and so this one has twelve items. And on the edge there, it shows you all the different patterns. So it makes those items right there. I mean, that, that pattern book has got all those patterns in there. And then it's got these patterns right there. So, so cool. Love it. 
So thank you so much to my son and daughter and all my grandbaby. <laughs> Okay, and then my husband bought me a coffee maker, a new coffee maker. <laughs> Actually, it's for both of us for my birthday because our other coffee maker, um, it it pooped out. <laughs> it died. So we wore it out, I guess. So anyway, he bought me a new one. This one actually is from the In Instant Pot brand. They make coffee makers, uh, K-Cup coffee makers. Well, K-Cup or you can use, because that's what we do. We use the reusable filter and we put the, our own grounds in there and make that instead of buying the K-Cups. Because we hate, we feel bad about throwing all those plastic cups away all the time, the K-Cups. Occasionally, I will use K-Cups, but 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 most of the time, I will we will use the refillable filter. Anyway, so that's what he got me for my birthday is... Um, a new coffee maker. So that's great. <laughs> and we are already enjoying it because he gave it to me early. <laughs> okay. So let's see what else. Oh, and my father-in-law gave me some money <laughs> for my birthday. And so I'm already spending, have spent some of it. I ordered some things from Amazon and I, I uh, can't wait to get them. And when I get the items, I think it's Right now uh, is three items, and they're all coming like on Friday. So, so I have a few days before they come in. But I will show you probably as part of Vlogmas that day or something, because Vlogmas starts on Thursday. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I will show you what I ordered with my birthday money. Um, so, anyway, okay. So that is it as far as my I'm looking to see if I've missed anything. I think that's it as far as my happy mail for my birthday. And then I did get a couple of, uh, oh, no, three Christmas cards to, to start off the season. So yay. As you can see, I need to t change my uh, decor in here. Uh, take my fall wall hanging down pretty soon and put my winter one up. I haven't done that yet. But um, anyway. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here is what I was wanting to talk to you about as far as the doll. I already kind of explained in the beginning of this video about the doll, but let me go ahead and show you. I had made the doll, and then I, um, was trying to figure out what to do with the wig cap. In the pattern, they had a wig cap, but it was just like short hair with like a part on one side, and that was it. It was kind of just a basic design. Now, she has other patterns, like I said, that's got other outfits, and other hairstyles and she um some of them in that individual hairstyle i mean outfit she will have the pattern to the hairstyle in there and some of them she'll just say oh well this is the pattern i use i refer and then refer you to another pattern which was maybe a free pattern that's got the hairstyle in it basically you can do whatever hairstyle you want okay so i use the pattern for the wig cap and then I was thinking, well, how am I going to do, how am I going to do the, um, the hair? Because I was wanting some cute hair. And so I remembered this doll that I made. Okay. So this doll, I know you've probably seen her sitting back there, but this is my Anne of Green Gables doll. And I love the way the braids are, the way the hair is attached. I'll take her little hat off. So the way the the braid the the hair the yarn is attached and then braided together, okay, and the little bangs. I just love the way this one was made. And so what I did is I went to the tutorial of when I made this doll, okay, and I will link it down below in the description box. The YouTube name, the channel name is like Odinka something, and I don't even I don't want to butcher the name because I know probably wouldn't pronounce it right. But I'll link it down below. And so this is a four part tutorial tutorial free that she guides you and makes the whole entire doll and um if you look on part three of the tutor tutorial because there's four parts if you look on part three she shows you or takes you through making the the hair cap but not the uh, the wig cap but not the braids okay just like a bean looks like a beanie and then she shows you how to make the 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 these things, <laughs> the bangs. <laughs> and then if you go to part four, because then it goes into how to make this hat. And so then if you go over to part four, which is the last part, the assembly and everything, then she shows you how to do the the braids and how to attach them. It's so cool the way it's done. And I think it turns out so cute. And so I thought, oh, I'm going to use that one. And so the stitch count 
for my weeby doll, okay? So the stitch count was a little bit different. This one is a little smaller as far as how many stitches are round, but I just adapted it and it, it wasn't hard to do. And so here is my weeby doll. Oh, I love it. This hair, this is a uh, uh, Lion Brand Heartland in, oh goodness, I didn't bring, let me see, do I have one? Oh, hang on, I've got the other skein. Let me get it. Okay, it's right here. It is Lion Brand Heartland yarn, and it is in the colorway Yosemite. I'm glad I looked because I was about to say Sequoia, but it's not. It's Yosemite. Anyway, I just thought that was such a pretty auburn color, and so uh, that's what I decided to use for my doll. I did. I gave her. I don't know if you can tell, but I gave her brown safety eyes. I'll try to do the doll's eyes kind of like the one here. I'm not finished. I might go ahead and put the black on there, but you see how I did, how she did the eyes on this doll? I think it's so pretty with that black yarn. And so I might, I might go back and add that onto here, the little eyelash thing at the top. I might go ahead and do that. I'm not sure, but I did put the little white accent on the side. But anyway, <laughs> I did the pattern like the tutorial, okay, um, I had to add a couple of, I think it was, I had to add eight bangs here, I and mean, I stitched them down, so I had to add eight bangs instead of six, I think this one has got six, so I had to do that, and then I just divided it up, made sure this was equal on this side and this side, so then I could divide it into groups of three, so then I could braid each side, but the hair is, a, I mean, these strands are attached in all these remaining uh, stitches all the way around to the back. Okay. And then, like I said, you divide each section. I think it ended up being seven strands of yarn. Seven. I'm trying to remember. Ooh. No. Uh, well, 14 because it's one long strand that's, that's yeah, that's halved together. So it's actually 14 strands of yarn, I believe. They divide into thirds and then you then you braid them. I think that's what it was. But anyway, uh, and did the same on both sides. And so that's what I did. And I may trim the ends there a little bit. They're a little bit uneven, but um, I love the way that it turned out. And so what I'm going to do with the free patterns that come with this doll, or I mean, that's coming with that mystery uh, advent thing that I bought. What I'm going to do is... Uh, depending on what there are, I was thinking I could do seasonal outfits where I could change her outfit, you know, and have her like in the background somewhere, I don't know, somewhere, and then change her outfit uh, around, you know, year round, I mean, you know, different outfits. Anyway, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think she turned out really cute. I hope everybody is having a wonderful Tuesday. And oh my goodness, in two days, Vlogmas starts. So come back in two days and we will get the party started for Vlogmas. And um, it will also be the day for my next update for my regular uh, Yarn Joy podcast episode video to show you what I worked on this past week. So I um, hope that you will check that out as well. So I'm going to go. So everybody have a wonderful rest of your week and come back and I'll see you in two days in the next video. Bye.